Short ride video update. Uh, it's now December. Fall harvest and all the beautiful Wisconsin scenery that you saw in the last video is now gone and it's turned into this. It rained three quarters of the night last night. At some point it turned into snow. I just quit here a minute ago. But harvest is over. We got it in the bin. I'm a little worse for the wear, but uh, I got 10 months to get over that. So we're happy. We're going to do an update here on Joy Red. I'm going to talk in this video and go over some details of the truck. Uh, this is where we keep it down here. This is a Rocco Trust building, kind of unique in architecture. It was built, I believe, in 1954 by my great grandpa Gail and my grandpa Harold. It's 32 by 56. And what's really ironic about all that, and oh, add that to the blue for real, I locked myself out. Is that when great grandpa Gail put this shed up, he said it's so big, you'll never fill it with equipment. You need yourself a hay track in there. So that they could put loose hay and farm equipment in it. So here it is. There's Joyride the 8B92. And the number one thing, the number one question, comment, and, and even a couple people said that we're, we're completely made up. What do you think it is? It's the D-Deck. The fact that an electronic two-cycle 8B92 exists. So we're going to put that, we're going to go through it. We're going to put that to bed a little bit here. Here's the interior, which is totally not done. Plain old Williams control pedal. No linkage, no cable, just wires. Got that one. There it is. No control rod, no governor housing, and if there's any doubt left, there is a DDEC4 ECL hanging out. This engine is a 1992 build. Uh, it was originally a DDEC2 out of a fire truck. We bought the engine and sourced a conversion kit, I believe it was mostly made for the military, to convert a DDEC2 to a DDEC4. That kit included everything except the ECM. We got that uh, from Detroit ECM out of Michigan. Took uh, There's two different DDEC4 ECMs, so that took some doing to figure that out. And what actually, one one the more common number doesn't actually have eight injector drivers in it. It only has six. And we found that out the fun way. Joyride is a 1981 standard hood. 359p it it's not very original truck so it's nice to kind of do it you know in in the way that we wanted to do it it was originally a glass hood single cleaner truck the previous owner changed all that stuff on it repainted it it was originally maroon burgundy kind of a color this past year we put brand new frame rails under it from pg adams we stretched it 20 inches. It's now 240 inches of wheelbase. That is a 10 foot long deck plate, which I get a little bit of a hard time from occasionally as standing joke around the, the, the harvest guys is that we're gonna, we're gonna set a picnic table up there. But if you're gonna do a truck, in my opinion, this is the way to do it. You can't get an old frame that clean and, and more importantly, that safe, especially on these Peterbilts. And you can see here, we got rid of it we went to an outboard fifth wheel, but these originally had the inboard mount fifth wheel. And this truck was bad under here. And it, for some, for whatever reason, it, it had a 36 inch bunk on it and it was sleeved up in here and it had rotted. Uh, we had about a, a, a hole in the flange the size of a dime. So brand new rails under it. We cut up a 387, 2010 387 Pete and scab the low air leaf on it so that is a late model low air leaf suspension and at 240 inches it still has a solid mount cab which is in the works we'll, we'll put a link system on it 
It rides pretty good. It's pretty decent. I can stand it and you know, I don't, I've got a standard height seat in it uh, with no air in it and, and, and I survive. Um, Holland FWA L fifth wheel. It's got low rider Hodge built full tandem fenders with the appropriate brackets, which in our out of our chrome shop in the middle of nowhere here, these are these are always what I try and get guys to buy. Way more sturdy, and they don't sit there and beat down the road and and hammer up the frame and bust the fender out. Sitting on 295s, uh, low pro 225s, mirror finish Alcoas. 135 gallon Lumi tanks, Dynaflex pipes, the boxes, the skirts, and that panel there are all Roadworks. We made the deck plate in house. We lowered the front two and a half inches from the air leaf to the low air leaf, and it sits. Just about, uh, I actually believe, if I remember right, I had the frame angle within a tenth or two. The valve covers, I get a lot of questions on those. They're a chrome powder coat. We, we spilled on them, and that's on me. Metal coating specialists here locally in town did them for, them, for us, and they did a real good job. We left the clear coat off them to try and get more of a shine out of it. And the first time we spilled on it, it something chemically reacted. So that's on me, and I got, I got to redo those, and that's why they're like that. The interface, we made that. That's Deutsch DT. It's 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 military. Also, we stubbed it out with a with a Deutsch DT connector inside the cab, and I made all the rest of that. We got the check engine stop, engine lamp in it. Uh, it's wired for cruise control and jake brakes and another update video that's coming we we scored a set of jake brakes for it by spring they'll be on there so that'll that'll be fun and exciting on a clear day i'm told you can hear the truck for close to two miles so we, we might have to to quiet it down some see how she feels like talking Electronically driving truck. The only thing it does not have is, is cruise control. The switches are wired for it. It does high idle. We're having some problems with a speed signal. This is what I believe to be the original speedometer head with accurate mileage at 893,000. We're trying to save that. And I know there's pulse generators. We've bought a couple, but I've never, I have yet to come up with something that'll reliably produce a pulse signal for the ECM to maintain cruise control. And that was a big part of the goal was to have this old engine technology mated with modern convenience. You know, that does everything you want it to do. A lot of guys say that these are, they're not usable anymore or they're just a toy or anything like that. But we worked this truck. We saw it in the farm harvest. We had it out. Last time we had it out was about a month ago. We got a 48 foot detached trailer and I hauled a customer truck in with it on detached. So, so this thing works. And we think that's the most fun part. I really enjoy your comments. Uh, like that there's some other people out there that kind of share the same thoughts and joys that we do. So stay tuned and we'll keep doing more.